As joining us now on Get Up are two huge figures from the world of college basketball here to make a big announcement live on this program for the first time. They are the head coach of Kentucky basketball, John Calipari, and the head coach at Harvard, Tommy Amaker. Gentlemen, thank you both very much. And Coach Cal, I will give you the floor to begin. Tell us all what you're here to announce and why it's so important. Well, we're here to announce the McClendon Minority Leadership Initiative, which is going to be a coach-driven initiative and uh but let me just say this and how this all came about we know seven weeks ago this week we watched in horror as and i don't think i can say it any other way george floyd was murdered in minneapolis how could one human being do that to another we start like saying wait a minute we got to step back and for some of us I stood back to learn and listen and say, what don't I understand here? And I find out I may never understand, but I stand with all of what we're trying to do right now. The second thing that happened is my wife grabbed me and said, you know, John, we everything that's happened for us has happened for us because African-American families has, have entrusted us with their son. What are you going to do? What are you going to say? How are you going to get involved? And that led to how do we get coaches together? What can we do to make a difference? And in athletics, it's add diversity to athletic departments. How do we make those minorities leaders and de decision makers in athletics? And lastly, how do, where do we house it? Because we coaches can't collectively do this. We can do it on our campus. But we find the John McClendon Fund. Please Google John McClendon if you don't know who he is. Um, and then I needed a partner to organize. And that partner was Coach Amaker, who's been a good friend and somebody I really respect. So we kind of came together. And right now we got 50 coaches that have invested in this program. Coach Amaker, would you pick it up from there? What, what are the goals here? What will be accomplished? Well, Grady, first of all, thank you for having us. And I, and I want to say that I, I'm glad you're back to the 8 o'clock time slot. Uh, <laughs> 8, 8.30 wasn't working for me. I always watch your show. I think you guys have a tremendous show. Well, I, I just want to say coaches should be viewed as teachers and leaders first. You know, my obligation and responsibility is to teach, lead, and serve our basketball players, our kids here at Harvard, beyond the 94 by 50, you know, by creating dialogue, by encouraging engagement with subjects and topics such as leadership, social justice, public service. Uh, you think of building community, you think of ethics and values. Well, this narrative, Greeny, is the directly derived from the standard of Coach John McClendon. Uh, so it's a privilege to serve as, a, as an ambassador for the John McClendon Minority Leadership Initiative to honor this extraordinary legacy of this great African-American man um, as, as Coach Cal said, please Google who he is. Uh, I'm just truly proud to, to honor him and to serve and support this mission. So, Coach Cal, we talk about trying to make substantial change. It's one thing to talk about all of the things that we'd like to see be different. So as a consequence of this, as a result of this minority leadership initiative, what do we hope that 10 years from now looks different from the way it looks today? We hope athletic departments look different. Uh, we hope athletic directors look different, which means coaches will look different. Um, you know, the coaches in this are here to promote it, to be the point of funding. Right now, athletic departments across the country are struggling. We should be the point of funding. It's to be mentors because we're not only trying to create access and opportunity for minorities in college athletics, we're trying to create and, and develop leaders and decision makers because that's how change is going to be made. Now, some of this may blend into business where businesses come in and say, hey, we're going to hire through this program. And that would be fine. But the last piece is what Tom talked about and where we are part of this. We mentor, we're teaching leadership, we're creating educational opportunities because these would be the future leaders. And I would tell every person out there, every if you're a man or a woman, and you look at this, and you're minority, and you say, I I'm into this, apply. Go to, um, le um, I'm sorry, minorityleaders.org, minorityleaders.org, 
and apply for these positions. Right now, there's probably going to be about 70 of those across the country, maybe a few more. Um, but apply for them. Uh, postgraduate, you really into this. You have a passion for this. If you're in business and you want to support diversity issues, join us and partner with us. We're trying to get matching dollars for schools that maybe uh, need help at this uh, initiative. I can add to that again. For more information on the Minority Leadership Initiative, including a pre-application for interested and qualified individuals, please visit minorityleaders.org. Org. Uh, uh, coach Amaker, I, I have literally less than a minute here, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you. Uh, you coach at Harvard. The Ivy League announced the cancellation of, or, of their fall sports. It, what is your expectation re uh, regarding your having a season this year in basketball? Well, well, Greeny, uh, first of all, um, you know, we, we have a model and principles that we believe in. Uh, we, we certainly, you know, feel that we're going to follow the science and follow the public officials and the experts. And uh, we believe and trust our leadership within our institution, our president, Larry Bacow, and Robin Harris is the executive director of the Ivy League. We made some decisions in the spring that didn't you know, go over well at first, but turned out to be uh, the right call and the right decision before. So I, I, again, I trust our officials and you know, we have made any decisions going beyond the fall, but whatever they are, you know, we know that the people that are entrusted with making these decisions are going to do it in the best interest of all involved, including obviously, first and foremost, our students. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.